Hey everyone, it's Sarah here, and this is my first official video with Liberty Jane Clothing. And I wanted to start off by showing you some of the things that I have made with the patterns, uh, Liberty Jane's patterns, and um, give you some little tips um, as far as their patterns go. Um, I do have the older patterns as after they release the destroyed jeans. I don't have any new ones after that, but I am getting them soon, so hopefully here pretty soon if I have time to sew some of them, you guys will get to see some of those. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, first I have the destroyed jeans on Ivy slash Surrey, and I actually made these with a pair of my old jeans. Whoop, falling off her butt. Um, and I really like them better than... Uh, the American Girl jeans or just as well as because they have real pockets I didn't put the back pockets on but they have the option to put back pockets on or not um, and I don't know I just really like the way that they fit the doll and I paired it with just a white t-shirt and the top from Sonali's Meat Outfit and I think it looks really cute okay and then next I have this outfit, this little, this get the look dress that they have, and it is super cute. My grandma actually made this one, um, and at first she didn't think it looked right, but after we saw it on the doll, um, we realized how cute it is with all the stripes. It does take a lot of um, patience and time to do all of these individually, but the result is really awesome. And then this is just a black t-shirt, the Liberty Jane t-shirt pattern and you can see it has a peace sign on it um we're covering that up for now for to see the outfit okay next i have miss page and she is wearing the pleated skirt and i actually made this skirt um i have another one that my grandma made but i can't remember where it is but anyways um this looks pretty complicated but it was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, so it's pretty simple, and I apologize, my dishwasher is making noise in the background. But I just paired it with the green t-shirt from the uh, from the jumper and boots set, and then the boots from Lan or from uh, Julie's calico dress. Oh, oh, there she is. And next, I have Mia in a t in one of their t-shirts with the Beatles ironed on to it, and another one with the Beatles ironed on to it. And then she's also wearing the mini skirt pattern that I made. I actually think my grandma might have made this one with the pink stitching. I don't know if you can see the stitching on it, but I like that they told you where to do it to. to do the seam for like the fake zipper um, to make it look like one. Just the little attention to detail that they do on their clothes is what makes me appreciate them. Anyways, so there's their two t-shirts. And I do also just wanted to show you all how, kind of just describe briefly how I did it. Okay, so as you can see I've got the Beatles stuff that I found. What I did was I got online and just googled the Beatles pictures and pulled them up and copied them and pasted them onto Microsoft Word. And then I shrunk them down and I saw, you know, the margins in the on the Microsoft Word and it says, you know, two and a half inches and then I measured across them to make sure that it wouldn't be too big. And then when I printed it, you have to print it in reverse. So you can see that this says it backwards, because otherwise, when you type that, when you when you uh, put the shirt on them, it'll say that and it'll be backwards. So that's why you have to do it in reverse. But that's really all I did. I just bought iron on paper, and then I cut them out right on the line, and then ironed it on there. And then here I have some other iron-ons, like little peace signs and uh, stuff like that, and stars. So just wanted to show you guys that. Okay, let's finish my out outfits here. I've also got Julie in one of my favorite outfits, and that is the, the t-shirt pattern 
with the beetles iron on and then this is actually the jeans pattern with some uh, with corduroy flower printed fabric and I've got the pockets in the back and everything and I really like this outfit on her so if you guys have any of the patterns you should let me know or email me some pictures for a chance to have them featured on the Liberty Jane blog. You can email the questions or you can email the pictures to ask Sarah SWD at hotmail.com. And I will try to get some pictures up on the blog of your guys' Liberty Jane clothing creations that you've done in the patterns. This is another one of my favorite outfits. This is the this is the jeans pattern but you can also do shorts so I made some shorts and they are really really cute and then also the t-shirt pattern with the iron on on it and then my last one I've got Miss Jess or Julianne whatever um, with a t-shirt with a peace sign iron on on it and um, all of this is just stretch knit fabric and then also a pair of the Liberty Jane jeans. I think my grandma might have made this one. Um, but you can see how well they fit. They've got the elastic waist and the pockets on them. And I haven't destroyed these ones yet, but I do want to. It's actually really easy. And they have a guide for how to destroy them now. Um, it involves sandpaper. <laughs> Anyways, so if you guys haven't checked those out, they have some really, really cute ones that are newer. Uh, that I haven't had a chance to do yet, but I hope I'm going to get a chance soon. So if you guys have done any of those or any of these, and you want to send a picture or comment and tell me and everyone else what you like about them and why you like them, then that would be awesome. And if you haven't checked it out, now is the perfect time. Well, that's all I have time for today, so I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.